Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Donovan, and I'm so happy to see you guys today. I'm sorry, I'm not tangled here. So, I was uh, trying, I'm trying different hairstyles just for fun. Now it's getting a little bit longer. This, um, this little uh, masterpiece, or whatever you call it, this is called my, I call it my Phyllis Diller look. <laughs> Do you remember her? She was a great comedian, but her, she had, wow, freaking wigs, hair. Um, she was amazing. I just loved her, but... And she even had a big eyebrow, so this is my Phyllis Diller look today. Or Groucho Marx, um... Meets Phyllis Diller, maybe? <laughs> yeah, there we go, like that. Just like that. What am I doing? Okay. So, um... Yeah, I was gonna... In fact, I was gonna record while I was doing the hair, but I was like, oh, I gotta have both hands. And it takes a little bit of teasing. And some, uh, that... Paste. And... Free spray when you're done, because the back tends to fall sometimes. And then, look, you know what? <laughs> I can see where my hairdresser, well, hairdresser, uh, when they cut my hair last, missed some spots. Actually, I think that's why I'm the hairdressers. I do my own hair. I don't. I go pay somebody. Not like I can do it myself. And I was um, always had somebody that is handy that you know just make sure I got the back evened up and everything. So, you know, it works for me. Um, so what are you guys doing today? Just, it's, what is it, Sunday, it is Sunday. Um, I'm out at Jean's house today. Um, pulling 12 hours a day, excuse me, which isn't hard. We just sit and visit, watch TV and eat, you know. How hard is that? <laughs> um, let me see. I don't know if I updated you or not. The ex-husband has moved out finally, got his own place. Um. I don't know how long he's going to be able to keep it. I mean, I was like, why did you rent a, a trailer you can't afford? I mean, it cost him several grand just to get in into it. Damn it. See, I played my hair again. Um, it's, and it's like 1000 or 1100 a month. And I'm like, I think he's lying to me, though. I'm like, do you have roommates? Or, you know, you got a, a play thing that's moving in or something? Because how are you going to afford that? And the dogs. I'll take the dogs if you want. If, if it's going to be, um, you know, if you can't get them fed and stuff. Because I don't want my girls going hungry um and he won't answer me he will not answer me just like what i want to talk about the divorce when we were talking about getting a divorce or i actually when he said he wanted a divorce he still i still have a reason as to why he wanted but he got it he got his divorce um that's okay because well we're not quite there yet the judge sent us the thing and um <clears throat> wants to talk with i think us or individually i don't know but I'm going to tell yeah, you know what, I'm going to contest it. I wasn't going to, but I am, because I want to sue him. Like he broke the contract, he was unfaithful, he was abusive. Uh, yeah, I want to, uh, if, if I can get anything out of it, if anything, just an apology would be great. But, you know, because if he's not made to apologize, he won't. He's very, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Narcissistic? He wants to blame, yeah, very much like Trump. <laughs> he's, uh... That's who he is. He can't, yeah, he can't, you know, I didn't marry him to change him. Um, but unfortunately, I married him because I, I loved him. I was in love with him. Uh, unfortunately, he wasn't in love. So I was like, well, why did you marry me then? I mean, I sat you down a week before the wedding and said, okay. Because I've, one, I got 10 years on him. Second of all, um, I have two marriages on him. He was my third. And this was his first long-term relationship. And he, like, holy crap. And, uh, so he's 40 now or 41. So we've been dealing seven years, so it tells you. Late in life, I guess. I don't know. Anyway. He wants to play the field again, so I'm like, how about it? I'm not going to fight to keep you. Especially if you don't want, you know, if you don't be here, it's fine. It takes more, just as much or more energy to be negative as it does to be positive. So I focus on the positive rather than the negative. And it suits me pretty good. I mean, I have my days. Um, and then there's days like, I'm like, if you... I tell him, I'm warning now, don't call me again today because I'm liable to rip your face off. Or your head over the phone, you know. Um, I can't put up with any more of your stuff today. So. Anyway, so that's done. What else what is going on? I have a couple... Um, 
major production companies, like uh, movie production companies, interested in publish or doing films with the book. But the only thing is, they want me to sell my rights. I'm like, no, will not do it under any circumstances, not at all. They think five, two point five million is plenty um, <clears throat> for all four books and the, and the rights for them. I'm like, uh, no, <laughs> plug my ass. Um, and I said, no, 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 no. You can lease them and, you know, go from there, but... And the one guy was getting kind of nasty with me. I'm like, hey, hey, hey. I didn't call you. You called me. Remember? So you... Obviously, you think it's, it's a moneymaker. But the point is, I said, even if you guys decide not to go with it, cause I said, I wanted to be an executive producer and I wanted to, uh... I've already written the songs for the soundtrack and I wanted to create a say. And I wanted the soundtrack released on my record label rather than theirs. <coughs> he was kind of like, w w what? That, that, <coughs> wait, no, that's just never done. And I'm like, well, shit, it is too. I said, Dolly does all the time. <laughs> Dolly part. <coughs> he says, well, yeah, that's Dolly. I said, uh -huh. yeah. Isn't she awesome? She's the one that taught me to be like this. Taught me to keep my material. Never, don't sell it, you know. Actually, what she said was, well, like, she put it in this way. Imagine you're the first prostitute that realized what she's truly sitting on. She says, nobody plays, plays in my gold mine without paying for those mineral rights first. I was like, that's awesome. <laughs> that was really good. Uh, I like her sense of humor. Um, so yeah, don't ever sell your rights because that's, that's your money. That's residual income for the rest of your life and for your family when you're gone. So um, that's why I don't, I don't sell. That and you know about the time, uh, well, like Elvis wanted to record I'll Always Love You. And... My dolly was so excited because she loves Elvis like I love her. And <clears throat> she just wanted to hear him sing that song. Well, <clears throat> David, the recording, his manager called and says, Now, you know, Dolly, Elvis doesn't record anything he doesn't get half the publishing to. And she said, No, oh, sorry, I can't do it. So, and then, uh, trying to be a great decision because when, he, when Whitney recorded it, yep, Dolly bought the bank. Made her millions just off when he's recording. And she did a beautiful job of it. I mean, she just made it completely her own. And took it to Stratosphere, which is great. Dolly was totally amazed. Um, that she was like, oh, she took it completely somewhere else. And she was like, it was just amazing. She was, when she first heard it, she had to pull over because she almost wrecked. She's like, this, this song sounds familiar. <laughs> she, she wrote it. But and it's like, when she goes, went, went to the chorus, she's like, she had to pull over. She said, I got overwhelmed with emotion. It was just so powerful. And that's awesome. Oh, what else is going on? Huh. Nothing at the moment, I guess. It's called updates. It's kind of a boring Sunday. Like I said, I'm hanging out with Jean, but she's been napping all, all morning, and so I thought, well, I'm just going to do my hair. Well, it actually doesn't look like it did anything with that. It looks like a bad head. <laughs> but it was like, ooh, yeah, it's real stiff. What's the lines doing? Always? You just tease it, make it look like a brown football helmet. <laughs> well, it's not a brown football helmet. Brown and white, baby. It's different if it could work for one. Say, like, come on, come tackle me. But, uh, no, don't. I, I, you know what? I don't understand. I don't understand about football. Is these people get, like, ran over by these big guys. Right? And get up and do it again. If you got hit by a Mack truck, would you get up and do it again? No. That's why I never went for football. And I couldn't do wrestling... Although it looked like it was a fun sport, but um, too much contact sport for me, if you know what I mean. Um, and those singlets, really. Mm, I'd be hiding in the bathroom the whole time because I would probably pop a job, but it would just stay there. <laughs> Not being gross, just being honest. Um, let's see what's going on today. Neighbors over here were shooting guns a little bit ago. Scared the shit out of me. Like, oh, what are they shooting at? Probably nothing. Squirrel, who knows. Because out of the country, you know, that's a little more acceptable, but, hmm, scared the crap out of me. I said, what is that? Oh, it's the sun. I thought, I'm like, what is that? I'm like, sure, I don't know, never mind. It was a reflection. It was, it was moving. I was like, there's something on my coat. Maybe it's a ghost. Oh, the ghost. I'm scared. All right, well, you guys have a beautiful day. Um... Sure, you, got, you can't sun if you can. I mean, today, uh, I don't know where you're at, but here in Glen Rock, Wyoming, it's, it's a beautiful day. Wind's blowing, of course. It always blows. 
Um, other than that, beautiful day. So take care of yourselves and each other. Until next time.